New attendant bike thief caught in the act, and now we know police were hoping this bike would be stolen. Tom Meston live in Denver for us tonight. And Tom, police are calling that a bait bike. And Karen, as the name implies, the goal was to lure criminals into stealing bikes like this one and then catch them in the act. And as one man found out the hard way here at Sports Authority Field, the bike you steal may belong to Denver police. Approaches it, takes the bolt cutters out, snips the lock. Surveillance video from October 4th shows a bike thief taking the bait at Sports Authority Field. We want them to think that they're going to get caught if they're stealing bikes. The video shows the man take bolt cutters from his satchel, cut the lock, place both items in his bag, and then ride off. Two blocks later, Denver police arrested 45-year-old George Vihill, another alleged crook nabbed by a DPD bait bike. We try to mimic the types of bicycles that are being stolen on the streets. Commander yeah, Paul Pazin says the bait bikes very... are placed all across the city in areas where there are a high number of bike thefts. Home Broncos games are especially popular for the bicycle bandits. The bait bikes are worth as much as $7,000 and equipped with GPS tracking technology. So far this year, the bikes have helped nab at least 20 people. Yeah, that's a good idea. Broncos fan Simon Zavala has had two bikes stolen. He likes the idea of baiting the crooks. Because there's a lot of people that care about the bikes and spend a lot of money and just to get it stolen like that. Different bike makes and models are rotated throughout the police districts. And as police prepare for their next sting, Simon has a message for the thieves. Go to jail, <laughs> spend a little time in there and not steal the bikes no more. A DPD is not saying how many of the bait bikes are scattered across the metro area, only that there are, quote, several. Meanwhile, the man arrested, George Vigil, is facing felony theft charges. We're live at Sports Authority Field. Tom Muston, CBS 4 News. Thank you, Tom.